A software-defined data center is one where all of the components are virtualized. So your compute, your network, and your storage all have been virtualized with a single management console to allow you to manage them all from a single place. My name is David Angrati, and I'm the director of the software-defined data center solutions practice within Logicalis. SDDC is ideal for companies that have already started down the path of virtualization and are looking to help accelerate their ability to be able to deliver services much faster to their customers, whether they be internal customers, external customers, or partners. What's driving the need for SDDC within customers is the velocity of business is increasing dramatically. IT departments are under increasing pressure to be able to deliver services faster and far more cost effectively than they're used to doing. The two primary advantages we see in SDDC are speed and agility. Speed from the perspective of allowing customers to be able to very quickly define and deliver services faster, and agility allows customers to be able to create new services on the fly to be able to respond to customer needs far more quickly than they've been able to in the past. Organizations tend to be resistant to move to SDDC because they feel that they would have to rip and replace everything that they've actually invested in over the last few years. The reality is that you're closer to SDDC than you think. Most, if not all, of those assets and processes all could be reused. And a lot of our approach and strategy to help you do this is by pulling those assets in and then combining them with the SDDC technologies that'll be required to help you achieve SDDC. The first step in implementing an SDDC is you have to start with a plan. That plan has to involve all the different principles within your organization, and you have to get everybody on the same page with a common goal. The second step is to virtualize as much as you can. It's not necessary to virtualize all components within your environment, but you at least need to start virtualizing as much of your compute as you possibly can. Virtualizing and network and storage are definitely optional and add a lot of value, but aren't necessary to actually achieving a fully software-defined data center. Third step is automate and orchestrate. The days of being able to do manual tasks have to end. You have to bring in those processes and tasks that just take up the most use of your people's time, and you need to automate and orchestrate them. To truly achieve a software-defined data center, it's critical that you do these two things. The fourth piece is service catalog. You need to think about the user experience. How do you want your users to be able to view, order, and consume the services that you're automating and orchestrating as part of your SDDC? And the final piece is, is to think about disaster recovery. As customers move to SDDC, the reliance on the service catalog and the underlying infrastructure to support it is going to grow. So they're going to want to have this online, ready to go all the time when they're ready to order services. Industry experts estimate that about 30% of an IT organization's time is spent innovating and 70% is spent keeping the lights on. What SDDC will allow an organization to do is actually flip that number. So that 70% of time is kept innovating and 30% is actually keeping the lights on. By doing this, it's gonna allow them to be able to deliver services faster and become more competitive in the marketplace. Logic House has over 10 years experience in the software-defined data center space, going back all the way to data center automation and enterprise orchestration technologies, all the way through virtualization and helping customers virtualize all of their assets within their environment. Unlike a lot of our competitors, Logic House takes a very pragmatic approach to helping you achieve SDDC. We do this by utilizing technologies from multiple vendors, knowledge from a vast network of folks that we have as employees of Logicalis, and an emphasis on utilizing as many of your IT assets as we possibly can. We don't want to have to rip and replace what you've already used. We want to take advantage of that and build on it. This allows you to take a much more cost-effective approach and increases the time that you'll be able to see real value in terms of achieving SDDC.